Hello everyone. So recently I've been, well for a while now I have been seeing what's called visual snow and recently I've been wondering more and more about it. Um, so my vision basically is is good. I don't wear glasses or anything corrective, have 20-20, nothing, nothing to be like worried about visually speaking, you know, for my eyes. Anyways, so if you don't know what this is, so you probably had you probably may know, I'm not sure, but it's kind of like little specks in your vision and you don't see them. Well, I do see them all the time a little bit depending on some backgrounds it's easier to see, right? In darkness um, in, on white background, in the sky. The sky is, like, really easy to see the visual snow. I know when I'm waiting for the, um, for the, uh, the train, um, the commuting train, it's, you can see it in that because it's, like, a very, kind of a dark place, um, under the ground, sort of. So, and when you close your eyes, when I close my eyes, I still see these little specks. And you do have some color flows depending on the light, like light sources or whatever is nearby. Sometimes, not always, um, especially with the sun, obviously, you have a light source, so it's really prominent with the colors. Um, so, yeah, the visual snow. So, it's, on, and I've heard of it referred to as like little fairy specks. You can see that. Um, and I'm going to go into more detail in other videos about this because it is a very, um, there's a lot to cover actually when I go into it. This is going to be a kind of a brief overview of it. And I decided to do this video because I saw, I've been wondering about it more and more as so I was going out in the sun, uh, you know, and just kind of like on a sunny day. And I n remember I noticed this most, most prominently um, when I was at school, at university, and I was waiting for the 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 bus the shuttle and I'm looking up and I'm like wow there's like all this like little specks in the sky <laughs> and it was really magical looking to be honest um yeah and so there was that um I have had in my history and my other channel I've dis discussed it supposedly had a blood clot in my brain and there were vision there were there were things connected to that um, with vision, um, patterns that I could see. Um, one time it looked like little, um, not just the, the specks, but it was pattern. Like it was like a, almost like a snowflake pattern, and then when you, you could see it, you know, in the everyday open eye reality and then when I close my eye I could see it even more because you know you close your eye you have that dark darkness so you can see the see it more right so background has some effect on that um colors yes um I've, I've looked at other people's um videos on this and colors colors is a colors is a thing um yeah sometimes specs will be more purpley or they'll have different different colors and Again, like I said, I'm going to go into more detail about this because it's so, it's really, I mean, I have a, like, years in, of, ex, like, experience with this. Like I said, I've been wondering more about it lately, and just the whole idea of, it feels like energy almost. It feels like, you know how in physics, you know, they realize that, you know, um, matter is more, is more, like, energy vibrating at different you know, different density, different levels of, you, you know what I'm saying. But anyways, it kind of feels like that a little bit. Um, and it's interesting because, you know, people will say, oh, well, you know, it, it can be uh, connected to, you know, visual, you know, visual problems. And like I said, I have 20-20 vision. Um, and what's weird is because I think it's it's connected to, like, visions, to be honest, because back in the day, even before I noticed, like, my most prominent, like, um, dealing with this, like, when I said, when I looked up at the sky, and I was like, wow, it's, like, really all these little 
little specks and little fairy dust look almost like wow um and yes i do have a floater it looks like a it looks like a uh, kind of like a worm and i'm going to get into that in more detail in another video that is something i'm going to talk about a little bit more because that has a history anyway so so the visual snow right so getting back on track here <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so, oh gosh, I got off track with the floater. I'm definitely going to be doing a video on that because that's important. More videos on this to come because, it, again, oh yeah, visions. Okay, so, before that, before I noticed it prominently in the sky that one day while waiting for a shuttle bus, I noticed that, um, also too, before that, right, I had a vision, and it was like, I know it's been like, um, described almost as a TV screen, like an old TV screen. One of my first, like, really crazy visions was, again, mostly the visions happen at night, like, between waking and sleeping, you know, states, when your mind is more relaxed. That's when you'll see the visions, because, you know, your brain is in this state, right? So, I saw this vision, and it seemed like, a, it felt like an old static TV. Like, it was really, like, staticky, like, but there was a picture. There was a picture. And, like, not all visions are the same. This was a different vision. This one had the, the staticky look to it, the old TV look to it. And it was like a chariot. It was like an old chariot, you know, like the, um, <laughs> like back in the day chariots, you know. Um, but it was like had jewels on the side. Like it was a metal, like maybe gold. Like it was a metal chariot, right? But it had jewels. Again, this was more old-fashioned, and it was only, like, a certain kind of view of it. It wasn't, like, the whole... I saw, like, a side view of the, the chariot, right? And then this hands, arms and hands. Didn't get to see any faces or anything, but they were coming from the chariot, and they were, like, coming in, like, welcoming in. Like, that's all I saw of this particular vision. Um, also, too, there is... When I close my eyes and meditate long enough... Um, there's the, the, I don't know if other people experience this, um, putting this out there, the circle, um, it, it, um, it can be black, mostly black, it can be white, it can change, and it's, and if you focus on it, like, that's where, like, some of the pictures come from, some of the pictures, um, with the visions, is what I'm saying, um, and not always able to get pictures and visions, um, when I when I see the when I see it, but that does happen. It has happened in the past. I am going to do another video on this uh, because it is in depth topic. I have a few visions of things that I've seen through this, and again, not all of them are grainy. The one particular one I said that was the the chariot was grainy. That was a grainy vision. So, if you are having visual snow. Uh, visual snow, the little vision stuff. Do you also have periods of visions? Um, I would like, and just asking that as a question. Um, I have other visions. I'll kind of like go into uh, different clarities, different different clarity. I have also in some of my prior videos spoken about some of the stuff that I've seen, and I'll, I'll reiterate it in other videos. But yeah. So it's third eye stuff. I believe it's like third eye stuff. Um, again, my vision is good. Um, but yeah, I have that. And it's connected to these visions. It's connected to pictures that you can see when you're when you're when you're in a state. Um, and grids. I've heard people saying they see grids. I saw grids I saw grids <laughs> a few times. Um, again, I'm going to go into this as another video, so this might be an extent, this is a topic I'll go into more detail on this channel. Um, but the grid, um, and this was back before, like, I re like, really, really noticed the visual snow that one day. Um, but it was, it was at night, and, because, you know, it's darker, so, it's, so things are more clear, and it was outside. And it was like a, it was kind of like a bluey, bluey greeny, but more bluey, 
this was a while ago, so I'm trying to remember. I do remember it because this sticks out in my memory. Like this is pretty, pretty something that stays in your in your head. It was, <clears throat> it was um, almost felt like it was rounded a little bit. But yeah, it was. <laughs> I know this is a weird. This is kind of hard to explain, but it was. It was. It was weird. It was a, um, it was a close-knit grid, and it was kind of like a, I believe it was like a light kind of bluey color, and yeah, I saw that. Um, I'm going to have to be more organized with my videos when it comes to, well, most topics, but this topic too, because there's a lot. And I'm going to go back and forth and back and forth a lot. And I want to be more, um, just more topic oriented. So I will kind of situate this into a, into a more, um, obvious, uh, <laughs> obvious videos for each one. But this is an overarching thing. So I've seen like a grid. I've also seen, I'm going to have to go into an experience. I was under influence. I will be honest of something that I experienced that was really gridish, that was very computerish. Um, again, under the influence, and I'll go into another video on that. Um, and uh, some of the, a lot of this stuff happens when I wasn't under the influence. Some of it has been under the influence, I'm just being honest. Um, and some of it hasn't. And like when I was a kid, the stuff I had, that wasn't under the influence because I wasn't under anything at that point. Um, but I did have a very crazy experience that I think I'll go into in my next video. I think that'll be my next video of an actual darkness, a grid, um, light, intense light, intense, uh, everything went light, everything went, uh, okay, light, white light, dark, um, darkness, but not totally because it was a, a an actual grid. It was a, it was an actual green grid, green grid, blue grid, I bleeding greeny greeny blue grid. It, it, I guess the color doesn't matter. It was a grid, and there were like these. It almost looked like uh, one of those old screensavers, if you know what I'm talking about. Those old screensavers, like in the. 2000s or something and it was like but anyways it was like a square like these outlines of like these squares but it was like bright colors and they were going like this and there was a sound because when the lightness came when everything went light my ears went and that ring went from to when I'm seeing these squares going like this like these cute these outlines of these cubes going like that on this grid plane. <laughs> okay, I know that sounds, but I was, again, I will be honest, I was under the influence when I had that experience. Um, but that doesn't mean that it isn't, there isn't something there. Interestingly enough, that's something to actually, like, go into. Like, what was that? Um, um, you know, what was that? Like, where, where was, where was that at? What was, you know, what part of the mind was that in? Like, where was, you know, it's just something interesting. But again, some of my visions that I've had uh, were not under the influence. I haven't, that was the influence of, um, at the time, someone gave me some coding. <laughs> and I took the coding, a spoonful of what I just thought was codeine syrup, um, and that's what happened. Um, from what I know, he said I I collapsed to the floor. My eyes, my pupils were my eyes were pure dark pupils, and I was limp. And that's what was happening when I was in that state. And like you know, I got out. You know, I was I was like, wow, that was the craziest thing ever. To be honest, like. Um, so I'm putting that out there, um, that I've only done that, that substance, <laughs> uh, twice. That was the second time I did that. I had that experience. 
the first time it was a very small low level of that it was very um lightness kind of some weird stuff but nothing to this it, after that it was like oh no you shouldn't do that anymore he got really scared uh my boyfriend at the time um and I'll go into other visions and 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 I will be honest when I was under a substance when I was having that vision um when I meditate I haven't been under a substance in a long time the only the times uh the only substance I've really ever taken aside from that uh was marijuana to be honest and sometimes I'd have vision sometimes not and again, a lot of the times when I have visions, I wasn't under the substance, but I would be asleep. And I'm going to go into these visions, these in-between sleeping and waking, and stuff that I had happen to me when I was a child, when I was in the military, that weren't substance-related. Now, I'm going to go into complete detail of these that I need to flesh out, because you'll, <laughs> if I don't, you're going to get a weird video that's like back and forth, back and forth, like this one. But I did want to talk a little bit about visual snow because I have been wondering more about it. It's been questioning because I'll see it when I'm waiting for the train. And I'm like, what is this? And when I saw um, Enoch 777's video on it, I'm like, oh, okay, cool. And I saw people's comments and then I went on other videos to see it. I was like, okay, yeah, because I've been having these thoughts too. It feels more like energy. It feels like, and sometimes like, you can feel presences or like different shifts with the you know with the actual snow and the, and the colors and things like that and I'll get into more detail I just wanted to put this out here have is anyone else that's been experienced has, has anyone else experienced this and what do you see do you see colors do you see patterns um what kind of vision do you have is it 2020 um what other have you had visions my my one connect uh, my one my main question is have you have you sorry if you have visual snow in these colors do you also have visions does do the visions arise sometimes out of these um visual abnormalities do you see these pictures come through these abnormalities in your vision in your sight that's a question i would like to pose but again more videos on this and it kind of does fit into the other things that um people have been discussing um even even with technology and stuff but i i don't want to get too too <laughs> crazily into a very long video that's very disjointed i want to be more organized um i'll discuss more about this later again put comments down below if you've had visions connected to your visual snow or visual abnormalities um yeah so until next time you know just just be strong, stay balanced, stay focused, um, just connect with yourself. I think right now we really need to connect with who we are inside because I think the powers of manifestation with how, with how we manifest is really potent at this time. So we really need to focus and not let the outside world dictate so much what's in the inside world. So anyone going through any kind of harassment it's very important not to let that interfere with the inner world because then we manifest or it's affecting our manifestation but anyways that's all I have for right now um, 